They go to the mouth of the cave at normal speed. He's there waiting for them. He says, come in. They go into the mouth of the cave. They get off their horses. They go into the mouth of the cave. And... Two celestial bodies, like angels, come to the cripple as he walks into the cave. And they remove his crippled body and then escort him into a, one of the caves. And they see that there are actually seven caves. And each of one of them has a sign. Like an eagle and a crescent, each, each of the... This one was different. It was like the um, all-encompassing cave that was most... Uh, uh, be beckoning. And that's where he was, that's where he was taken. And um, they were asked to take their place at the back of the of the wall, the, sit down. So, what they see there is this angelic rabbi who appears to be ageless, and this light is shining through him. And there are hundreds of students, all of them of great learned scholars and he, when he walks in they all stand up and when he sits down they all sit down. To Tanoim realized that they've gotten themselves over, over their heads. The shear that's going on is the, the shear is the secrets of Anna Bechoyach. Anna Bechoyach is the 42, the 42 letters of God's name that are basically the the etzim of the, the it's the so close to the essence that it actually cannot be formed in terms of a name. It's about name, and that corresponds. To and the Bechayach to the 42 journeys in the desert, the 42 um, expeditions, the encampments, the expeditions of the, of, of the soul, in over a 2,000 year, however many, however long the cycle is, that the soul has to be, to go through reincarnations until it reaches its level of perfection. Those, those, that, that, that in other, in other words, the, the four, there's a narrative for the 42 stages of each individual's mission through the journey of the universe, which is the sum total of all of the collective experiences of that soul from the time of creation until the time of Mashiach. The reason why... I'm just getting off the subject now, is why so many crazy things are happening, is because we've run out of time. And they're, they're, in, in, in order to compress everything into this final journey, lots of the narratives appear bizarre, and very unusual, including people living short lives. It's, it's, um, everything is coming to the end. And that includes the Holocaust. But the Tznoim in the story try to run out. And, it, and, the, angel, and the angels who are guarding that, ca that cave, they say to them, Ah, once you come in here, you have to stay. You have to listen. And they're being burned by the fire of the truth that's being revealed in the in these secrets. Now when we say Anabikhoyah it's a passage that we say between Friday and between Shabbos. There's a a mystical time which was just before 
Shabbos after the six days of creation, where it was not not chayil, it was not weak, and it was not Shabbos. It was beinish Mashus. During the, that period of time, certain eternal things were created, like Moses' staff, the donkey, the donkey of Bilam, which will be the same donkey, uh, which is the, will be the same donkey for for Mashiach, the Ayel Acher. Oh, that was uh, there was uh, um, the, the calf that, that that shows up at various points in in the story in the in the story of, of Tanakh. Uh, I think it, it was it first shows up and it shows Abraham. The Isle runs into the cave and shows shows Abraham where Hashem wants him to bury Sarah, and it's the same one that's used for Kedus Yitzchak. It's the same one that. Um, was used for Bilam, it's going to come. Uh, uh, no, I'm sorry. So the, 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 the Isle was created by Benish Be, 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 So the, the, the idea of the Hevel Habalim, of the Anabechoyach, that is something that we say between the six days of the, the sixth day and the seventh day. And it's seven Sukkim with six letters. There's 42. If you see on the right side, it says, Ana Bechoyer Kedulis Yeminkar Tazitrura. And on the left side, it will have Ana Aleph Bechoyer Base Gimel Kedulis and so on. When you, when you spell it on the left, those are the words that we're not allowed to say. But we are meant to be niskaven, we're meant to be meditating when we say on the on the words that those Rosh tables are spelling. So, for, for instance, the first, the, the first passage and reads Aleph base, which is Shem Av, Gimel, which is the Gimel Kedus Tamiyas, Yitatz, will be ripped up. The Mashiach comes. The Gimel Clippers will be shredded. That's one of the secrets of Anabichoyach. When it comes to the, 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 the Pasuk of, of um, um, Tes Nun Ayan, it's, it's Chatum sealed. Kate's boy. It has the kates in it. What is the kates? Tamon, Tidden, Nister Iron. The secret of the letter Iron. Now, Iron we see also in Ashish Chayel when we say, Boy, Beshalom, Nateres, Baila, Gam, Verina, Rutalandi. That is, Boy, Beshalom, Ateres, Baila, the crowning. The crowning is what we do by elevating the sparks of, of, of the screen, by elevating the, 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 the godly sparks in exile, is that we crown the king, as we return his creation to him to be through, through a process of, of elevation. And all of the mitzvahs, the whole entire morality and all the mitzvahs are really in, in order to allow us to elevate those box. Now, when it says Taman is the iron, where do we see iron? It says <clears throat> the idea of crown Ateras Baila is now is that we are now now in the decade of iron. We in Tovshin iron. Hey. So between Tovshin Ayin and Tovshin Pei, this t decade is the decade of Mashiach. 